Hello everyone, in this video we will look at how to install the plugin, change your access code and various scenarios around that. So the first thing is when you sign up on checkwizardslots.com using this free sign up, uh, you will get an email once you complete that and it will have instructions on how to install the plugin. So if you do not have it installed, for, when you install it for the first time, what you need to do is you need to go to the, the Chrome store and then just uh, add to Chrome. So once you add the extension, the plugin will be installed. So as soon as you install for the very first time, it will ask you for the access code. So all you need to do is pick up the, go to the email, pick up the access code and then, you know, put it in here and then click on this, uh, you know, green check icon. So this is, this is one way you can ensure. So uh, as soon as you put in your access code, you will be able to see this availability. Okay, another scenario is you already have the plugin installed, but let's say you have got a new access code uh, because you know when you went for premium alerts, you change your CGI federal email ID and then you would get a new access code. In that case, what happens is you actually would get a new access code. For that, the way you change that access code is uh, you need to go to the plugin settings and do that. And the first thing is, you know, you could one one way to do that is, you know, if you do not see the plugin in this, uh, in this, uh, uh, you know, address bar kind of a thing. Uh, you need to do is click on this puzzle icon and then uh, click on this pin so that it's available here. Now you can go to any website, be it Google or any of the website, and then you click on the plugin. Then it will open up this uh, this whole uh, you know like a window or a pop if you can call it right. And you see this pencil icon. Click on the pencil icon, and now you would see this. So now all you need to do is enter that, and then once you click on the check icon, then it will actually update that. So this way you can update the uh, access code. So again, we when we do the counting of uh, you know contributions, you we look at the the portal email ID as well as the access code or a combination of that. So this is how you actually change the access code or install the plugin and put in the access code. Also one way to verify if you have the right access code is you know you could also click on this view screenshots uh, button and then it will take you to the home page and on this page you will see the access key. So if you verify this is this should this should be the new access code that you've got or the one that you're contributing with. So this is what will be used in combination with your portal ID for uh, you know for your contributions uh, tally. Thank you for watching.